just like to publicly thank uh, each and every one of our special guests, ambassadors and those involved with the Football United program, but also the tour, uh, the national or the international tour that, that uh, Monique Coleman is doing. Um, it is something very, very special and we are very fortunate to be part of it. So thank you very much. Um, I work in the Human Rights Commission. Human rights are things we don't have to earn them, kids. We have them because we're human. So um, right to education is a really important right. And that's the work that we do at the Human Rights Commission. We try to make sure that everyone in Australia is treated equally, irrespective of what nationality, what ethnicity, what sexual orientation, whether they're boys or girls, whether they're old or young. Our job is to make sure that everyone is treated equally, and that's something that um, you can very much help us with. You know, we don't really have that much time, so I'm just going to jump right in. A lot of times when I talk to young people, I find that one thing that young people aspire to do or to be is famous. Being famous is not very hard at all. Having influence is very different. Having the ability to impact another person's life because of the journey that you've decided to take. Making way for another human being because of what the choices that you've made and the responsibility that you know you hold within you. That's what's important. The things that you're attracted to, the things that you love, the things that move you and shake you to the core, the things that upset you more than anything, whether it be the stereotypes that people make about the place that you're from, the fact that sometimes you don't feel that you're respected the way that other people are respected, all of those things, those things, you get to actually stand on the shoulders of the people that came before you. This is my passion. My passion truly is about you. Because when I look at our world, though it is a very beautiful place, I know that the answer to so many of our problems lies within you. So we cannot allow the things that, like self-esteem and bullying and not opening our eyes to the opportunities that we have today, the opportunities that we have for programs like this today. So that's my passion. <laughs> In speaking of, you know, what it was that drove me to um, youth development and youth empowerment, I think it was just growing up um, in Western Sydney. And I went to Bankstown Girls High School. I'm from Bankstown. I still live there. Um, and I think it was coming from a community that unfortunately wasn't respected and was stereotyped. Um, and I think, you know, trying to dispel those stereotypes and prove myself to society is what drove me. You're all important assets and that it's important to dream bigger. Yes, Western Sydney is an amazing community and we have amazing things to offer our national community, but there's bigger and better opportunities out there. There are also other young people in our country that are marginalised and unfortunately are disadvantaged. And we need to connect up as a youth group, as a youth community, to share those stories together. But I really, really urge you all to not be so insecure about making a difference because you all have something to contribute and you all have a voice. And I really, really hope that you can share that. So thank you.